Yeah, okay. Welcome back to our next class on indices. In our, in our last class, we were able to look at the multiplication laws of indices. So today, let's look at the uh, addition, I mean the uh, division law of indices. Okay, so we have division law of indices. Now, the name will tell you what it means, division. So it has to do with when we perform operations that has to do with numbers, with powers, how they divide each other. So what does this law, what does it actually say? It says that a raised to the power of b divided by a raised to the power of c is equal to a raised to the power of b minus c. This, the order is very, very important. Now, the difference between this division law and the law of multiplication we did in our last video is this sign here negative, I mean this sign here division and this sign here negative. So but the principle still remains the same. What's the principle? The principle is that for this law to apply, the basis must be the same. You can see this is A, this is A. And what we have in the middle is division. So, as long as the bases are the same and we are having division, then this law is saying you should um, take the difference of the powers. So, it's going to be B minus C. I said earlier that the order is very important. What do I mean by that? The first one, the powers of the first number, or the power of the first number, will be the one that is subtracting the power of the second number. So this law is not saying it's going to be a to the power of c minus b. This is wrong. It's not the same. Let the first one always be the one that is subtracting the second one. This is one of the mistakes that students make because sometimes when, once they discover that the smaller number, I mean the first number is smaller, they tend to switch. Please, you don't do that. For example, if you have, let's, let me use 5 this time, 5 raised to the power of 4 divided by 5 raised to the power of 1. Now, our solution or our solving to this is first of all let's check the criteria the basis are they the same yes they are the same the sign at the middle is it division yes it's division so is are we qualified to apply the law of the division law yes we are qualified so we say what we take the base which is five and then we do what we subtract the power which is four minus one and that is what? 5 raised to the power of 3. So this is our solution. Now, I was saying you don't have to switch the powers. Now, there's a tendency for students to switch the powers, especially when you have something like this. Let me call this example 2. Let's say we are, you, are, you are given 8 raised to the power of 5 divided by 8 raised to the power of 9. Now let's check this out. The basis are they the same? Yes. So, was the sign at the middle? Division? Yes. Can we apply the law of the division law? Yes. And what does it say? We take the common base and then we subtract the power. 5 minus 9 and that gives us minus 4. This is our answer. Now, some students are always tempted to reverse this solution and saying 8 is the power of, they now do 9 minus 5 because they see that, oh, that this 5 is smaller and they will tend to switch. Please don't do it this way. This is wrong. This is the wrong answer. This is the wrong answer. The answer is not 4. If you do this, you'll be having 8 raised to the power of 4, which is wrong. Please, in division, 
the order of the powers is very very important okay so go home and practice more let's stop this class for today bye